Hi, sword. What, 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 what? What? Mm, well, hi, I guess. Hey, sword. What's up? Is the music too loud? I have no idea. Where's the audio? Ahem. There we go, I don't, I don't know. Like, plot, I guess? Plot? I, I... I was talking about the volume, not the plot. What plot? Like, plot, I guess? What even is this visual novel? Oh, you're asking what the visual novel is? The visual novel is called Lucid 9. It's supposed to be a mystery game with romance in it. It doesn't have any nudity in it or anything like that. Sorry to disappoint. However, it does have romance. And it does have mystery. I even talked to one of the creators that made the game. They said there's no nudity. And I thought there was. Because <laughs> I'm retarded. And I thought there would be nudity. And I was like, no, I can't stream this if it's got nudity. And then and then the, the cre one of the creators said, no, it's got no nudity. And I'm like, oh, good. Okay. I thought it had nudity because there was like a tag that said there was nudity in it for some reason. And I was like, that's strange. And then, and the creator was like, no, there's no nudity, and I'm just like, okay, it's just so weird. Anyways, uh, it's it's loose and nine, and I, I don't I don't know. Good thing there isn't. Yeah. Um. Even I, I can't handle that shit. I don't think I can handle it. I guess it's an RPG maker. It's not an RPG maker, it's like a visual novel. Not not an RPG maker. Maybe ask someone who's played it. But one of the creators said that, that it's not got nudity in it, so technically speaking, if one of the creators says it's not got nudity in it, then it's not supposed to be meant to have nudity in it. They said it has violence in it, a little bit of violence and blood in it, but no nudity. Yeah, I spoke to one of the creators. On I made a I made like a video because yes, I bring videos to YouTube, and they commented on one of my videos and said, uh, they said that there's no nudity in this, and I thought there originally was because I saw a tag for it on Steam because I looked up nudity with visual novels or something, and for some reason this came up and it's not supposed to come up because this doesn't have nudity in it, so I thought that was weird. Like, why did it even come up? I'm just untrusting, you know, the devs, for some reason. That's fine. I'm hoping this doesn't have nudity in it, otherwise I'm gonna be so pissed. I'm gonna be so mad if this has nudity in it. I'm going to Katawa Shoujo, so I can turn that, turn that nudity off, and then be like, okay, I can stream it now. If this has any nudity, I'm gonna be so mad. Not, not that it's a super bad thing and it's just it's just I really hate freaking twitch and YouTube for not allowing it to begin with with nudity I just find it a little bit dumb when it comes to twitch and YouTube Debs, yeah the Debs. the creators um just tell me no nudity anyways I'm repeating myself I don't know why I'm repeating myself anyways I'm going back what up one of my saves. I can't remember which save it is. Definitely not that one. I think I'm gonna try romancing it up with the pink haired girl since she's she seems to be very obviously the childhood one. The childhood friend that he's had. 
that's actually had a crush on him with the main character and yes I'm a dude not a chick sadly I'm a dude I have a few games that are have female protagonists though that I plan to play I think it's this one that because it says 1743 let's go this one ah, I skipped something god dang it it, it made me skip what the heck also, this is Yahiko, the one on- the one over here is Yahiko. Talking. Yahiko is my favorite character so far. I'm not even joking, he's funny. Good day to you, my pitiful peasants! You've arrived, just in time to witness my brilliant plan. Technically, he was the one who came to us, but I stay silent. You see, I've decided to create my own club. A club worthy of my immer immeasurable greatness. He thinks he's all that and sugar-coated. He's sugar-coating it. In other words, he got rejected by all the other clubs. Yep. Best character, 10 out of 10. And Rui is the girl with the pink hair over there on the right. Oh boy. And that's my Soto. You're making a club? Good for ya. What? Whoever says good for ya? It's good for you. Okay. I know! I'm gonna call it the Happy Club! And it will be the comprise of minions who will follow my every bidding. I still like Yahiko. Best character so far. Rui's probably my second favorite. I think we just witnessed the creation of the shadiest club on campus. We will start by taking over the school, then Isamu, then Japan, then the entire world! Happy Club plus Minions equals cult. <laughs> He's got the Illuminati! He's got the Illuminati! <laughs> nah, I'm kidding though. Also, Isamu is the main character. The, the one he's talking about. I'm Isamu, as in, I'm a dude! Yes! I fulfill my dream of being a dude for no apparent reason. I don't even know why I'm dude. Why am I dude in this game? I want to romance it up with the dudes in this game. Not as a dude, but as a chick. Why am I dude? Why can't we choose genders? <laughs> well, at least he doesn't lack ambition. Oh, wait, my name's Yama. Wait, my name's Yama, then who's he talking about? I don't even know who he's talking about. Okay, I guess I'm Yama. Well, I was always Yama. Maybe that's his last name. I don't know what his last name is. It's so confusing. And once my mansion on the moon is built, we will have dominion over the universe itself. But he does lack brains. What you guys talking about all the secret like? Hmm? Nothing. We were just, um, talking about how we haven't gone to the GFC in a while. A completely unconvincing as the excuse is, she successfully turns Masato's attention to food. GFC? I like the way you think, Yuri! We better go now, before the dinner rush and starts! Well, he's gone, bye. Don't care. Marches off on me cheerfully as Yahiko blathers on about how amazing this new club will be. Great cover. I know. Holy inconspicuous. Just as inspicuous as that time you were in a Komodo. Of course she'd bring that up. You wanna get tickled? You wouldn't dare! Whenever you mention anything about commandos, I feel a sudden urge to tickle the nearest person. Uh, we better get going. We should follow Masato and Yahiko. Did you see? Yeah! She speeds way before I have the chance to talk to her. I only chuckle to myself as I catch up. As we make our way to the lively shopping area a few blocks away from campus, a couple of details catch my attention. There's endless posters and billboards plastered with the faces of uh, politicians with broad. Can't. Can, can, fuck that word. I don't want to try to pronounce it. 
smiles, proclaiming in bold letters, back to props prosperity. The recession is over. And do more with more! More! More, I say. Upon scrolling tablets and giant projected screens. I mean, what? That's normal. Totally normal. There's the smoker and his buddy. Why the heck is there a smoker? Okay, I have to question this. Why is there a freaking smoker? Why are you looking at a smoker? Why? No, seriously, why? <laughs> the random drunker, the, 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 the group of tourists, and clutching electronic pamphlets titled Welcome to the Glorious Metropolis of Isamu. Oh, the, the, the place is called Isamu. I thought that was a name. Well, I'm dumb. While well, taking pictures in front of every, a very possible location. And I skipped things. No! Skipping! How do I go back? Well, I don't know how to go back. It's hard not to notice that stuff. Notice the stuff. True. But at the same time, it's like... Why? Why stare at them? Why can't you just ignore them? I guess it's smoke. The smoke, that's why they notice it. I guess. I just wouldn't stare at them. No, I hate- I just turn my face away, like, I don't even want to be near someone that smokes. So what's the point of, like, staring at them intently? There's also normal. Okay, that's, that's also normal. Whatever he just said is also normal because I skipped it on accident. Everything is normal, completely normal. So, why do I feel so uneasy? Maybe it's the skyscrapers. I've never liked them. Why do you not like skyscrapers? I like skyscrapers. I like being on top of tall buildings where it's very, very high. And you can fall to your death. No, I'm just kidding. In somewhat way, I'm kidding. I've never liked them. They're too tall. I always get the impression that they're watching me. Why would buildings watch you? What? Are you talking about people in the buildings? Why would building- buildings don't have eyes! They can't watch you! Is it confirmed that now buildings are magical? They're now magical. Well, that's confirmed. They can watch you from above. Now I'm just being a dumb dumb At this point. <laughs> not the Guardians either, not some benevolent force that's watching over the city. We're like, staring, waiting for the right moment to strike. And then that's the smog, that terrible musky pollution that sits on my skin like a coat of hard mud. Every, every breath is disgusting. Every breath is disgusting. Well, Zord, you had a point. You had some sort of point to this. He said it's disgusting. It's more like the atmosphere than the actual buildings, I guess. I guess. I think it's more like, maybe, maybe he doesn't like heights, like, like some people have, uh, what's it called, heights? Like, my mom, for example, doesn't, you know, she has this fear of heights, yeah, the fear of heights. Like, it's going on about the smog now, smog. Well, he's thinking this to himself about the smog. Terrible musky pollution that sits on my skin. Oh, pollution. Uh, like a coat of hard mud. Every breath is disgusting. But every breath is necessary. I hate this city. I really, really do. Mmm, maybe he lives in a bad, polluted city. 